All right, now for those of you taking the O-levels, okay, and uh, you happen to not quite understand what is the first principle, differentiation by first principle, the good news is it's okay because for you, it is out of syllabus. All right, so officially it's out of syllabus and there's no need for you to know uh, what is the first principle, the differentiation by first principle, or how to even use it. So what you really need to know for your O-level um, exams, okay, and that is uh, you need to know this, all right, and definitely you need to know, uh, you can almost treat it like a formula, and that is uh, we, what we discussed in the previous value. Uh, if I have y equal to ax n, ax to the power of n, then the dy dx, which is the gradient function, the differentiate of the, this curve, will be given as a multiplied by n to the um, and multiplied by x to the power of n minus 1. So it's essentially what we discussed earlier on, and, uh, and that is uh, this operation that we're going to do here, and that is to bring down the power bring down the original power, multiply by the original, whatever the coefficient is, so that, that's how we get the a n here, and uh, the original power, which is n, we reduces it by 1, so uh, it becomes n minus 1, okay, so let's uh, go through a couple of examples, just so that you are clear in this, alright, so for example, if I y equals to 10x square, okay, and my dy dx will be simply uh, 20x to the power of 1, and nobody really write this power 1 anyway. Okay, and this is the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know in order to do any differentiation question, and therefore uh, the next few examples you will be able to follow, all right, uh, will be uh, the next one will be ax equals to ax. Okay, now no power. Well, actually, there is a power, the power 1, but uh, nobody really again write the power 1, so it's just an. So uh, ax, sorry. So uh, the dy dx of this ax will be simply equals to a. Now, how so? Why is it like this? Well, because x here actually has the power x power 1. Okay, but again, it's invisible because nobody really writes the power 1 here. So what happens is you're going to bring this power 1 down and multiply by a. So 1 multiplied by a gives us a. And now what happened to the x? Well, the x actually becomes x to the power 0 because it's um, 1 minus 1. So that gives, gives us 0. So x to the power of 0. But this x to the power 0, and in fact, uh, based on the indices that we know, uh, and that is uh, anything with the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so again, it's as good as invisible. So uh, nobody really look like this uh, x to the power 0 anyway. So it's simply, answer simply is 1. Uh, sorry, a. I beg your pardon. Okay. So this is how we differentiate um, ax or 2x or 3x or 4x, so we differentiate 5x, we get 5, differentiate 10x, we get 10, and so on and so forth. So far, so good. Uh, the last one, uh, the last thing you need to be very good at will be the differentiation of a constant. So if I have y equals to a, and therefore the dy dx will be equal to 0. Okay, uh, why so? Why like this? Okay, well, it's because, uh, well, there's no x here, right? Well, actually, there is x power 0. Uh, well, because x power 0 is 1, so it's as good as invisible not being there at all. So so nobody will write this anyway. So, But uh, when we do the differentiation, it helps that we understand what's going on and how, how do we end up with 0. It's because it, this being x to the power 0, and we're going to bring down the power 0 and multiply by a. And in fact, uh, 0 multiplied by anything we end up with 0 anyway, right? So that is how we end up with this big fat 0 over here. Okay, so it all makes sense, uh, especially this, this, uh, this, this, this two results here, because uh, when we talk about a equals to ax, uh, we're talking about a line, not a curve. All right? And uh, as Paul discussed in the first video, uh, a line is uh, essentially all right, um, having the same gradient at every point on the line. So every point on the line, you have the same gradient, right? It doesn't matter which point you're talking about. So uh, what we also understood from the equation of the line being y equal mx plus c, so the a, which is the coefficient of x, is actually the gradient uh, of the line. Okay, so the gradient of the line uh, is a, and therefore uh, dy dx equals to a. Okay, now similarly, when we're talking about a constant, so like a constant like y equals to a, uh, it's a horizontal line. So it's, uh, it's again a line or a curve, so y equals to a. Uh, and again, being a line, the gradient at every single point is the same. Okay, so there's not, not like a curve, right? So, so every point, the gradient is the same. And uh, being a flat line, okay, the slope or the steepness is zero. 
okay and gradient is actually the measurement of steepness so uh, in this case the gradient is zero okay so you are all ready to go into the first example that we're going to talk about okay uh, but before that let me show you one uh, one more example so that uh, we are all in good shape to move on to the next level okay so let's say we have something like this to differentiate okay now, you, you won't be asked to differentiate uh, 10x square all the time something so simple okay no no it won't happen in real life so this is what may happen okay uh, even this this is considered easy okay so let us uh, move on so to differentiate this you just have to differentiate throughout lah. okay just differentiate throughout and uh, term by term so differentiate 3x square gives us 6x okay that's because we bring down 3 multiplied by 2 and the power reduces by 1 okay differentiate 4x get 4 differentiate 5 get 0 which is a constant so nobody writes a plus 0 behind so this will be the answer that we have for our dy dx okay 